they can kind of lead you astray if you don't understand that. So we do that, and now we have this question. Another conceptual question, what is the value of, of activation energy of uncatalyzed reaction? Okay, so for this, um, we're so we're more so thinking in terms of uh, answering this in regards to catalyzed versus uncatalyzed. So, what does um, a catalyst do to a or an enzyme due to the activation energy? The goal of it of the catalyst slash enzyme is to decrease the activation energy. There's no real value. Okay, so if I were to draw this, the original activation energy without the catalyst would look like this okay typically okay and this indicates that there's a loss in uh, in energy because at the end I guess you release heat but you first needed to build up all this energy first before you could actually get to the activation energy but what a catalyst does it says you know what I admire the hard work you do we can make this a little bit easier whether it's through enzymes or just a constitutional change in the callus and whatnot, it allows you to do that. So you still end up with, so I can draw it a little better. So you still end up with the same reactant, same product, theoretically, but a callus just makes it so that it's a lot easier to get to. And whether it involves in terms of um, changing the intermediate steps and such, the goal is that there's going to be less activation energy when a callus is involved. So with that being said, the value of the activation energy of the uncatalyzed reaction, so when more, I mean, when the catalyst is not involved, it means that there is callus involved. It means that there will be more of an activation energy threshold you have to get to. So that would be how you would answer this question because there is no value per se because each um, reaction has different activation energy. You just know that it would be more than if a callus was involved. There would be more energy needed when there's no callus involved than when there is a callus involved. Okay? So, exactly. Callus is substances that increase the reaction rate of the reaction without being consumed in the process. That's key because the catalyst is not actually part of the reaction. Well, that's I phrased that wrong. The catalyst is part of the reaction, but the catalyst stays there. It does not get used up during the reaction. So kind of like if we're dealing with enzymes as an example, the concentration of reactants may be high and the enzymes may get saturated. That's how they keep working. They keep working, breaking down, changing the reactants into their products, and then they say, okay, next one's up the enzyme itself doesn't dissolve and go away. Um, I mean, technically, that's a whole different conversation, but point being is that the enzymes don't do that unless you had some like other things that break enzymes down, which is what your body needs because sometimes your body wants to stop breaking down certain things, so it deactivates certain enzymes. So, all in all, point being is that the enzyme does not get used up by the substance itself that's a key thing that you want to understand. So, catalyst does not appear in the overall stoichiometry. That's true. The catalyst reaction would therefore have a small activation energy. So, from this graph, you can see here catalyzed reaction, which is correct. It's a loss of activation energy, then without a catalyst, as you can see here. All right. So, that is pretty much what a uncatalyzed reaction has is that relative to the catalyzed reaction, there is more energy needed for it to be activated. So this is correct. And now let's move on to question nine.